Dave, you wanted to talk about the future a little bit, I think. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm going to jump right into the future future. The future, Char Charlie, you've, you've played a, an active part in OTJ in the last few months, and we've more than appreciated having you and your your wisdom, your advice, your encouragement, um, just your thoughts about the future of running an organization like this, if, if you have any, would you mind sharing them? Oh, boy. Well, no, I, I think you guys are doing an amazing job. I, I mean, I, I think that, that OTJ, at least from what I can see, as, as a teacher trainer, as somebody who, you know, basically what I like doing, what I spend my energy and my time is, is trying to reach out to nuts and bolts classroom teachers to help them with the problems that they have right in front of them. Um, you know, I'm less concerned. I mean, I, I, I'm very pedagogically oriented and I know the research and I know the science, but I'm less concerned about, you know, publications in, in ivory tower, you know, uh, um, you know, scholarly uh, libraries than I am about, you know, pedagogic principles that can be applied to the classroom right now, right here and right now. So mm -hmm. I want things to, you know, I want, I don't want, you know, to, to just, you know, have, have teachers to do whatever the heck they want without thinking about um, the science. But I think that, that um, we only, we should only be using the science to the, to the point of where it's, it, it, it's directly helping teachers and students with the problems they're facing right now. And I think that's exactly what OTJ is doing. And I think that's different than what I see happening in many of the other professional, you know, more, I, I, not that you're not professional, mm -hmm. but the, the professional organizations that have magazines and journals and, 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 and and structures and hierarchies, um, I think that, that 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 sometimes can get in the way of, of actually helping teachers. And I think that you guys, your hearts are in the right place. You 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 are in the right place. Um, that this this ERT has just just swept um, around the world and 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 and, and, and you know really caused a tremendous amount of stress and problems uh, for for teachers and students and schools. And I think you guys are out there every day helping, you know, people with those problems in, in a way that, that that's based on good pedagogy and good science and, and expertise. You're, you're tapping into the expertise of, uh, of, of people and the goodwill mm. of the uh, of the experts. And, and everybody's just just pitching in in a sort of a grassroots way um, that, that I think is, is very noble and it's very um, effective. And, and I, I, you know, if I were to think about the future of OTJ or give mm. any advice, I mean, I think you've already listened to it. And I think, you you know, not for me, but you already know this. And that is to not try and emulate uh, what other organizations are doing. Don't go that road, mm. route. Don't, um, you know, don't worry about, you know, things like, uh, you know, a very strong hierarchy or a set of rules. Or and I, I know that you have to have some minimal rules. And I mm. agree with that. But um, I, I, I think the, the, the more structured uh, the organization becomes and the more, you know, the, the, the less effective it might might be. So mm -hmm. I, I think the fact that you're you're, you're focusing on the on, on directly on on the needs of, of, of teacher teachers in this era of ERT, the needs of students in this era of ERT um, and, and, and giving, you know, you know, trying to provide the skills and, and knowledge and know-how in as many formats as possible um, is, is great. And I think you should try and stick with that. And, mm -hmm. and, and, and I think that really, not the differentiation is important, uh, but I think that really differentiates you from, you know, a lot of the other organizations that I'm involved with. And I, I think it's, there's, there's incredible amount of energy here. There's an incredible, uh, amount of, 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 of sort of um, brainstorming and, mm. and innovation is the word I was looking for. An incredible amount of innovation that's going on in my in, in front of my very eyes. I mean, I love, you know, every session that I attended uh, last week um, was was a, a, a session that that you know people did present, but there was a lot of innovation going on in the in the conversations afterwards. One of the things I don't like, um, um, and I, I give enough presentations, I give presentations all the time, but they tend to be you know somewhat one one way. The mm. teacher, you know, you you, yeah. you you prepare a PowerPoint, you have a certain amount of minutes. Uh, they say leave five minutes for questions, but the you know there's usually right. only like one or two perfunctory questions, and that's it. 
Um, I think what you need is is genuine dialogue. You need time mm -hmm. for that. And I think that, that, that you guys have been very good at creating that atmosphere where it's not only the one way presentation of ideas, but but people, you know, are able to to talk about their own experiences and their own ideas. And it becomes a two way, not two way, more than two way. It mm -hmm. becomes a conversation. A conversation. Multilateral. You know, I maybe, like this you know, idea. This conversation idea is. Really I think I think you should use the word conversation in in the in you know in the statement of the purpose of the organization somewhere. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, OTJ. You know, you know, conversations with teachers or, yeah. or something. I don't know. Well, I, I like the idea. What I what I've, I mean, who knew what it would grow into? But I like the idea yeah. that there are people like yourself. One one of the things that's interesting for me about this group is that there has been a coming together of the teachers on the front line with teachers in say the ivory tower will say that have somehow decided to come together and share their knowledge and to find to learn about you charles that you're a teacher trainer kind of gives me a broader view of what you're doing because i thought of you as the word man but a teacher trainer <laughs> is like <laughs> when you're t teacher training that's exactly what you're doing you're preparing teachers for battle for the uh, yeah. in, in the trenches of their, their their whole life is going to be spent in a classroom and so a teacher trainer your number one job is to help prepare them and so OTJ seems to have been morphing into a way to help the average teacher in the average classroom and but with many experts and many novices coming together and sharing ideas almost equally so the voice of a beginner teacher and the voice of an experienced teacher has an equal merit uh, absolutely, and and I think it, it, it's only by having the conversation, uh, by you know, by novice and expert teacher, you know, actually equally uh, being able to participate, that the novice teacher can grow, mm -hmm. and, and and the expert teacher grows as well. I mean, but but it, it you know, we we really do need to have places where where somebody who's struggling with something can can actually talk and ask for advice and and and, and be heard and i i, I think so far you, you guys have done a really good job of that i like what you just said there this